Okay, you guys asked for it. I don't know if you've ever had one of those days where every tool you pick up and put down disappears on you and just can't quite seem to get your head screwed on right, but that's the kind of day I'm having today, so we'll see how this goes. Uh, gonna be making a vacuum assist chamber for the large flask. And basically, you're gonna need a your flask, a piece of pipe that it just fits into leaving minimum amount of clearance around the outside wall. It doesn't take much of an area for vacuum to get in there, so the smaller that you can make this, the less uh, cubic inches of vacuum that you're going to have to try and suck out of here. So, if you can make it smaller, that's better. Okay, now I lost my magic marker. Bingo! Need to weld a little pipe nipple, or pipe coupling, into the vacuum chamber. You want it just below the flask and up off the bottom in case you actually have a blowout of your flask and it's going to try and uh, the molten metal runs out. You don't want to suck it up in your vacuum pump. So you leave a little bit of space down in there. Okay, so I got the whole half ass drilled into it. And got my little coupler here. Okay, so I half ass welded that on there. And we have some high temp RTV silicone. A nice stainless steel base plate, and I marked out the OD of the pipe on it. So, what we're going to do is just lay a nice little bead of silicone where that's going to sit at. We're going to drop that bad boy right into it. Squish. And I missed. Ah. <coughs> wow. Oh, that was a mouthful. That stuff is potent. You could actually just take them drill a hole in it, thread your fitting right in, be done with it if you wanted to. Okay. I said about these things nothing fancy uh, what I did is I found a block to sit the bottom bar of the flask on top of and it'll leave it about an inch or sorry nine inch an eighth of an inch higher than this ring up here the only thing is I gotta take and put some little spacers on the flask so it won't 
lean in any direction when I lower it back down in there. So I cut some little strips of cardboard. And we're just going to tape them right to the flask. back and give myself a little bit more room up here. Of course I got the cord right in the silicone. Like I said, today's one of them days. Uh, make sure I hit the record button. Perforated flasks are from uh, Rio Grande. They're meant for a, a new tech casting machine. I think they're somewhere in the neighborhood between five and ten thousand dollars for one of the vacuum casting machines. And yeah, I'd love to have one of them, but just a little out of my budget at the moment. So I don't know if I'm the first one that ever came up with this idea or not to just make a cheapy chamber for vacuum assist casting, but I know a lot of people have been you know, asking where you get this vacuum chamber at, and whew, that silicone is ripe. Wow. So, this is how you get them. You just make them, and there's nothing to them, really. And it makes casting so much easier. It's not even funny. All right, now we're going to take and coat our flask with some mold release to keep the silicone from sticking to it. And I'm being quite liberal with it. Now we're going to make our top gasket more or less by just putting a bead of silicone right around the edge of it here Making sure we keep it you know, a good eighth inch high so it'll compress a little bit uh, when I sit the flask in it. Okay. Now then, playing operation. Do not touch the sides, and you touch the side. Uh, that's all right. Right on down with it. This silicone makes me gag. Oof. All 
All right. And we leave that sit up until tomorrow. Then we should be able to twist our flask and pull it right up out of there. So that's it, guys. Done.